Hello everyone, I'm Hassan Armstrong. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how I started freelancing as a web developer. But first, I want to tell you the advantages of freelancing as a web developer. First is, you can choose the projects you like. In a normal job, you have no choice about which product projects you work with. But as a freelancer, you have a lot of flexibility. You can choose if you like to work on a certain project or not. The second advantage is you can work from anywhere in the world. You're not restricted by an office. You don't have to live close to an office. You can pretty much live in any country you like and work remotely. And lastly, you can choose your rates that you offer, which means if you want to charge $50 per hour or $500 per hour or $5,000 per hour, you can. With this flexibility, working as a freelance developer is a great option. So what are the steps someone would need to take in order to become a web developer? If you know nothing about coding, like myself when I was 25 years old, I knew nothing about web development or coding. So step one is to learn basic web development, which means learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Once you know these three languages, you are in the perfect position to start working and earning money as a freelance web developer. Now you're probably asking, how do I learn these languages? Now you can use free resources like Free Code Camp or Code Academy, but I myself have used these resources and have found them to be not so helpful in today's job market because you most likely need a very in-depth understanding of these languages, which these free resources don't provide. So I'd recommend paying for a course online, either Udemy or other coding or course platforms. Or you can utilize my free course by going to my website, hassanarmstrong.com. I have a free web development course where you can learn basics, the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and in-depth. Step two. Choose a niche. This is the most important step for a web developer and it's the step that most web developers ignore. You need to separate yourself from the other web developers who want a similar position to yourself or want similar projects to which you're applying for. And how do you separate yourself? You do this by becoming a niche developer. So web development is a very large, large subject and within web development you have niches and by becoming a niche developer you separate yourself from other developers for example you could choose to become an accessibility web developer where you focus on making websites accessible for users with disabilities or you could become a seo web developer you're focused on making websites optimized for search engines. Whatever niche you choose, it needs to have two major requirements. The first is it must be a centimeter wide, but a mile deep. By this, I mean, there are very few people in the niche. That's what I mean by centimeter wide, but a mile deep, there's lots of opportunity. So there should be very few candidates in your niche, but there should be lots of work. Okay. And one example of that is accessibility. There's lots of opportunities, but there's very few accessibility web developers. And you can even go a step further. You can aim for a specific industry. For example, if you are an accessibility developer, you could be an accessibility web developer for law firms or for plumbing companies who have websites or for co-working spaces who have websites. You want to niche down as much as possible while keeping the principle that there should be lots of opportunities, but very few, very limited amount of competition. Step three, you want to build your portfolio. Once you've selected your niche, you want to build a portfolio of items that demonstrate your expertise in that niche. For example, if you are an accessibility developer focused on making law firm websites accessibility compliant, then make sure that your portfolio is full of websites 
that are specific to law and accessibility. Once you have your portfolio, it demonstrates to your potential clients your skills and your expertise and they'll be more likely to hire you. Step four, you want to generate leads. Now this is one of the hardest parts. You need to get find people who are interested in your service. Whatever niche that you chose, you need to find companies interested in your service. So how do you find these, these companies? You use Google. You go to Google and you type in your niche. For example, law firms in Texas, USA. So you want to go to Google to find your leads. You can do this by entering your niche. So if your niche in the previous step was to find law websites or companies who offer law services and they need the website to be accessibility compliant, you can type in Google law websites and then there you have a list of potential leads. So now you have an array of websites who could be potential leads, you want to find the owner of that company, of those companies, okay? So you can go to the website and use various tools to extract the email of the owner of that company. And then you build up a lead list of, I don't know, 5,000 leads or 10,000 leads. And once you have this list, you want to start sending them emails or contacting them directly through Instagram or Facebook or whatever social media platform they use. And you want to message them with a free offer. You want to say, I notice you have X problem on your website. For example, your website is not accessibility compliant and I want to fix this problem for you. And you offer your services for free in exchange for a testimonial. And if you have 10,000 leads guaranteed, one to 2% will accept your offer. So now you will you will uh, do the work for them, you do a very good job for them and get to the, the testimonials. And then in future emails, you will use the, the testimonial as evidence of your expertise, of your skills. So in future emails, you'll say X client, I worked with X client and he gave me this review. And then you can start charging for your work. You can say, okay, if you wanna work with me, it costs $80 or $100 per hour. So that is the kind of lead generation process in a nutshell. Now you have testimonials, you also want to combine this with freelance platforms like Upwork and Fiverr. Sign up, sign up to these platforms and use te the testimonials that you gathered from your lead generation on these platforms. You could request your previous customer to write you a review on Upwork and Fiverr. Because it's very hard to get work on these platforms without having testimonials. Next step is make sure you do good quality work. Make sure that you meet your deadlines when working with clients. Make sure that you always have good communication with your clients and you deliver, deliver high quality work. If you deliver high quality work, it's very likely that they will refer you to other clients and you'll get repeat work. So those were the steps for becoming a freelance web developer, at least how I did it. And I hope this helps. If you're interested in learning web development for free, you can sign up to my course, which is available on my website, hassanarmstrong.com. Sign up to my course and you'll get the free course totally for free. I'll teach you the basics of web development. So you're ready to start building websites for, for clients. Thank you for watching today's video and see you in the next one.